Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Art and Storytime. I'm Lindsay Urban, the director of the Arts Institute of Middlesex County. We are so excited to have you all today. This is our last Art and Storytime of the summer. We're going to be taking off for the month of August, but then we'll be back in the fall. So don't worry, we're not going to forget. You guys don't forget about us. We won't forget about you. And we also want to say a special hello to and, and a, a special hello and a, just a temporary goodbye to Miss Ayanna Slakum today because she has been with us since the very beginning of our in story time. So before we even get started, can we have a big round of applause for Miss Ayanna? We love her so much. She's been here since the very beginning. And we are so proud of her. She's really the heart of art and story time, right? And you can't spell heart without art. So thank you, Miss Ayana. <laughs> so today we're gonna be celebrating America the Beautiful, just like we have all month. We're gonna be talking about all different kinds of people who came to America from all different places. And people are still coming to America from all different places from all over the world. And it's really what makes America beautiful and exciting. And just like the song was just singing about, it really makes us all a rainbow, right? We're a, a rainbow nation. And so we're going to be reading about folks who have come here. We're joined today by our friends at the Civic League of Greater New Brunswick. And today's uh, program is going to be recorded. So if you don't want to be recorded, if you don't want to be seen, please turn your speaker or please turn your um, screen off so that you're not seen. And I want everybody to please turn uh, to speaker view so that you can see the story and hear Miss Ayana as she reads it. And I think that's it. I'm going to pass it over to Mr. Sean Hewitt. Um, and it's, it's actually just a recording of him, but it's Mr. Sean Hewitt to tell you a little bit about the C Civic League of Greater New Brunswick. And we're really happy that they've been able to partner with us throughout this whole year as well. So thank you and enjoy. Hi, everybody. I'm Sean Hewitt, Director of Youth Leadership with the Civic League of Greater New Brunswick. The Civic League is a 76-year-old nonprofit agency that has been dedicated to assisting African American and other minority groups here in the greater New Brunswick community. We are pleased to be working with the Art Institute of Middlesex County over these past couple of weeks to facilitate and connect youth and community through the arts. It is my pleasure to have introduced several of our young team to this activity and we look forward to continuing this partnership. Hope you enjoy the presentation. Awesome, thank you so much, Mr. Sean. Uh, well, now I would like to introduce Ms. Ayana, who is going to be reading the We Came to America book written by Faith Ringgold. So if Ms. Ayana is ready, I'm going to. Yes, I'm ready. Okay, okay, I'm going to begin the share screen. And if all of you will remember, we read a Faith Ringgold book earlier in Art and Story Time called Tar Beach. So I hope that you all are paying attention to similarities and differences in the books. So, so you're going to take it away. Okay, so today we'll be reading We Came to America by Faith Ringgold. Okay, we came to America. Oh, okay. <laughs> we came to America, every color, race, and religion from every country in the world. Some of, some of us were already here before the others came. And some of us were brought in chains, losing our freedom and our names. We came to America, every color, race, and religion, from every country in the world. 
We travel from our birthplace by boat and by plane. Some of us came running from injustice, fear, and pain. I don't, okay. We came to America, every color, race, and religion from every country in the world. We brought along our joyful songs, our stories wise and true. Our music colored the air, beautiful sounds and patterns everywhere. Our joyful dance now freed our pain, gently like soothing rain. Our food, our fashion, and our arts made America great. We came to America, every color, race, and religion from every country in the world. In spite of where we came from, or how, or why we came, we are all Americans, just the same. Yay! That's it. Oh. No, thank you guys. Thank you so, so much. Sarah. You're welcome, Miss Sarah. We're going to say something, Ayana? Oh, I was just going to say that today we're going to be making flags. Yes. Do you want so, to say anything to them? So, what I was thinking is I would love to hear from everyone what, what we've been trying to do this entire month, right? Is talk about the diversity, right, of what makes America, right? Who who are all the people that, that, live, that live in this huge country, right? We all come from very different places and all, we all live here. So I was thinking that maybe some of us could share some of the different ways that our families arrived in the United States. Like for example, my family, some of my family members walked here, they took a plane and they walked or, and they took a boat, right? And some of my family's members took plane to get here, right? And they came here from South America to, from this place called Uruguay. And so I was wondering if anybody else wanted to share about the ways that their family got here. Cause then this will lead us to our activity in a few minutes. Dariti, do you wanna share? So my family came here in a plane. So that's how my family got here. Does anybody else want to share? Solo. Lyra? Did I pronounce that your name correctly? Lyra. Lyra. It's a beautiful name. That's pretty. Uh, um, me and my mom and me and my mom came here to visit my dad. Two planes. Two planes. That's awesome. You took two planes to get here. Yeah. That's awesome. That's so cool, Lyra. Were the rides long? Uh, I don't know. I don't remember. Mm, yeah. Were you a little it was baby? the oldest times. It was the oldest times when I was super small, like almost like three years old. Wow. Wow. Now I'm become six years old. Wow. That's so cool. Um, funny story about when I was a kid, I used to think that America was a planet. And anytime you had you took an airplane to another country, you well, anytime that you traveled to another country, you were going to another planet. So you had to take a space shuttle to another country. And then I found out that all the countries were on the same planet. And I was like, oh my God, there's so many countries on this planet. That's amazing. There's so there must be so many people that live on Earth. And there is. <laughs> um, Henry Herrick, do you want to go next? Tell me if I'm pronouncing your name correctly. Yes, sir. 
uh, I came for, from a plane to America. Cool. That's awesome. All right. Well, if anybody, does anybody else want to share before we move on to activity? I want Mia, to. Mia, yes. Okay, great. We came in a plane because my dad was already here working for the military. Okay. That's pretty cool. Maya, did you want to share? Well, I don't really know how I got to America. I guess because I was already born here. I was born here. So uh, I don't... You didn't I, have to so, so I wasn't really flown or anything to America. I was like born here. So was my sister. Yeah. We were both depends, born in America. Yeah, it all depends how long your family has been here, right? Because depending on how long your family has been here it depends on the different form of transportation that your family would have been here, right? Because if they moved, they came here like 200 years ago, right? They probably would have taken a boat to get here. But if it was like the last 70 years, it probably would have taken a plane, right? Um, cool. So I think, unless anybody else wants to share. Oh, I have to let my hand down. Um, unless anybody else wants to share, we're going to start working on our activity. So everybody's going to need a piece of paper and something to draw with, okay? I already have a lot because I, I'm already drawing something that I... I was Perfect. trying like something I can see like you drawing over there. <laughs> You're always drawing, Miss Mia. Look, um, I have a ooh. lot of. I'm still not done, but that's so cool. So I think that this flag, and I, I gave you all a prompt last week. It was if you had to draw a flag that represented you, what would it look like? Okay. Now this could be. It could be like your culture, right? So it could be a flag, like it could be the American flag or it could be the colors of the country that your family comes from, right? So my family comes from a country called Uruguay, right? So the colors from that country are blue and white, right? So it doesn't necessarily need to be, it doesn't necessarily need to look like the color, like the exact flag that you would see, you know, that the country has, but you could use those colors to decorate your flag. But your flag could also have things that you are interested in. So let's say I like the colors blue and white, and I'm also interested in writing. So I could have a pen in my flag, or I could have flowers and because I like plants. I like having plants around my house. So I could have some plants in my flag. Um, does that make sense? So you want to you want to make a flag that represents who you are, what your interests are. Yes, Lyra. Lyra? Question. Um, can we draw the flag where we came from too? Sure. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Where she came from? Where did you come from? India. Wow. Awesome. That's cool. Okay, Is anyone from else from India? No. Can we start drawing now? Yes, yes, please, feel free to start drawing. Mia, did you want to say where you came from? I came from Puerto Rico. Ooh, Borica, mommy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bro. <laughs> Mia's laughing. Okay. So I'm going to play some music. Sure. Miss Sarah. Yes. My parents and my dad. No wait. My dad's parents and my dad's parents. My dad and my dad's parents both came to America. Well, my dad. Hold on. My dad came to India when he was. Um. Wait. I'm getting confused. My dad came to America when he was five, and so did his parents. Oh, okay. There you go. Cool. Do you know how he got here? Did he take a plane? Uh, Probably. I think, uh, yes. Yeah, he took a plane. 
cool. Awesome. Oh, that's an awesome flag, Mia. Is that you at the bottom of the flagpole? Um, I have a flag. Yes. You have a question? Wait, can you tell me how to say your name first, please? What is your name? I'm Pranavika. My mom is Pratiba. Pratiba? One your more name? time. One more time. I'm sorry. Sorry. Say that. Say no. My name is Pranavika. And my mom is my mom's name is Pratiba Anand. Oh, Pratiba. Oh, okay. Yay. Okay, I got your name now. Thank you. Do you want That's to share a with us? Beautiful flag. I love, I love it. Is it red? Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. You want to say something, Maya? What happened? Okay. Is everybody having a good day today? Great. Uh, I wanted to show my flag. Hey. Oh, show me. Ooh. Oh, that's awesome. It's America's flag. Ah. It reminds me of the yeah. flags that came outside the schools. Mm -hmm. I think I did like 60 uh, stripes instead of 50, but. You said what? I think I did 60 stripes instead of 50. <laughs> so. Oh. Okay. 60 continents. 60 continents? <laughs> Imagine if there were 60 continents on the earth. That would I would be really be freaking out about all the people on this planet. <laughs> this is my, what my flag looks like so far. It's a big flower. I thought I was going to do something different, but I'm here right now. Here's how mine is going right now. Oh, nice. Okay, girl. I like that. I don't know if I'm done with this, but how does it look for now? It looks it's really awesome. nice. I love it the looks sun. Like, it looks romantic. Very much so. <laughs> <laughs> I really have to turn my camera off. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Well, it is. Does anybody else want to share? Or are you all still working? May I see your flag, Miss Sara? Yes, ma'am. This is my flag. It's a big flower. Well, I originally intended for it to be a sun, but it kind of looks more like a flower. So I'm going to say it's both. And then the blue stripes represent the Uruguayan flag because the Uruguayan flag looks a lot like the American flag, mm -hmm. but it's actually blue and white stripes. And then where the stars are, there's a big sun. There's like one sun. So I was trying to do like a big sun in the middle and then some like stripes in the background. So are you from Uruguay, Miss Sarah? That's where my family's from. I was born here, but that's where my family's from. So I was trying to incorporate my identity and my interests into the flag. I also really like plants and flowers. And so you can see I have the flowers on the yellow flowers on my shirt too. I didn't even realize. You're fancy. Um, yeah. 
I have a Tweety shirt. You I have, have a Tweety a shirt. shirt. We both have yellow shirts on. I can't be a part of the game. My shirt is hot pink. It's okay, okay. though. That's okay. I know. There's a my, girl. Guess what? My What's shirt that? matches part. How do you say your name again? I'm so sorry. Me? I think it's, no, I think it's part Parhidi. Is it? It matches Fatima? his wall. Yeah. Mm-hmm. My shirt matches. It also matches Dariti's shirt. Dariti's pink shirt. Oh yeah. Oh look, you're, 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 you want to know what you're working on? Okay. Aww, oh, that is that your oh, family? That's, so cute. that's very cute. Maya, are you are you drawing a flag? If you're not, it's okay. I just want to know. I can't see with your background. Yeah, you seem like you're out out and about today. She always out. We got to go party with Maya. <laughs> oh, you showed great. us. Yes, your, your pool flag. Gotcha, gotcha. Maya, where are you at? You at the pool? Oh, man, I'm jealous. Right. Is that at your house? I live in an apartment, so I have a pool. So I'm well, at the really pool. Nice there. It's nice. This is a pool. It's huge. You like That's to awesome. swim? Mine does not. <laughs> my apartment does not have a pool. Mine don't. And either. now I'm at the beach. <laughs> <laughs> that was so cute, Maya. <laughs> That is so funny. Oh, I love that flag. Ooh, yeah, that's great. Eric, how's your how's your drawing coming around? Miss Eric, can I come get some colors, we're still, please? You're still working. What happened? Can I come get some colors, please? Sure. Yeah, I have some uh, some oil pastels here. Okay. Oh, I have oil pastels upstairs. Oh yeah. Yes, Harry. They play music at the pool. (laughs) Um, I made um, I made the flag. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Oh wow! I like the sun. Oh, is that you uh, next to the flag? Yeah, that's that looks, that looks awesome. I made a flag inside too. That's great. I love it. Oh, is that your sister? Does your sister want to show us your art, her art too? Oh wow! That's great. What's your I name? Made a new, uh, Mahi. Mahi. I love your I love your drawing. Thank you. Two American flags and a flower and a sun. And I made a heart TV and a heart and a and a I made a new uh line for my decoration. That's great. Can you guys see me okay? Yes, we can. Oh, we're not muted. All right. Well, we're going to wrap up soon. Yes, I am not. Yes, Maya? Which colors did you get of the oil pastel? I got all of them. I'm trying to color right now. Okay, so we. (laughs) All of them. Wait, my picture's inside now. Okay, so I'm. (laughs) So I love. Wait, I love love. So that's why I have a heart. I like flowers. I like this kind of flower. Like I just know how to draw that flower. Uh, and then this, I like to be with people, like family, friends. So that's why I have my people. Uh, and that's my flag. I love that. Is that the sun shining down on your flag? That's awesome. Oh, wow, that's really cool. 
Now I'm just gonna go finish this. Okay. Well, I wanted to say thank you so much to everyone, to all of you who have joined us for our in story time for the last several months. Some of you have been with us since since February. Um, so I, I just want to say thank you so much for all of the time that you spent with us. We'll be back in September, so this is not over yet. So please keep an eye out for an email from us very, very soon. Um, but we will we'll be taking off the month of August. So please uh, rest up, get ready for school, because I know some of you guys, you all will be going back to, to in-person schooling. So make sure that you do your self-care and get ready for, for, for being back in school. I know that you're probably excited, right? Um, and yeah, I'm very excited to see you all real soon. And, and guess what? What? Now I get to go into the pool. Yay. And I would say, even though our, our story time is wrapping up this month, still we're still in the park. So you all can come out on Saturdays, every Saturday for the rest, this, this Saturday and all of August, we'll, all, we'll still be doing art in the park. So there's still opportunities for you all to meet with us and make art together, okay? Um, yes, so thank we you can. so much. Okay, I wanna say something before we go. I just wanna say thank you guys so much for allowing me to have this opportunity to be with you guys. I'm gonna miss you guys so much. I'm going to try and pop in. Great but, time with you. Yeah. I miss, I'm going to miss you all so much. I, my favorite day of the week is Wednesday because we get to come in on our and story time and see and be with all you guys. Oh, thank you, Miss Layana. You really enjoy spending time with you too. We're very much looking forward to having you around too. And one more, can we all wish Miss Ayana good luck in college? Have good, good luck. Good luck. Thank you. Good luck. Yay, Miss Ayana. <laughs> All right, everyone. Have a wonderful Wednesday evening, and we'll see you all soon, okay? Bye. bye. It's not bye. It's see you later. We'll see you guys later, later in September. See you in September. What? He's cool. Maya, your flag. Oh, that's beautiful, Lyra. That's I love Indian it. Flag is. Yes, it's beautiful. I love how it's flowing in the wind. That's beautiful. I always love it. I love it. That's great. I was gonna tell Maya to tell everybody not to forget, and she's left. She's ready to go in. No, because she's gonna go in the she's pool. Right she's going yeah, to the she's pool. Not about us yeah. Yeah. All right. Yes, yeah, it's beautiful, Shannon, Lyra. Shannon, Maya's gonna miss you so much. Oh, uh, well, we'll be back in September. So yeah, because he's still looking forward every Wednesday. She make sure with me that oh, we, you have a program, right? So she Aww. just looking forward for that one. So hopefully she will be back again, and hopefully that work out without school times, you know. Yes. Maybe, yeah. maybe, maybe we have to make later or whatever. We, I mean, I don't yeah. know. But, yeah. but thank you so okay. much. It was so great. I'm, I was attending all of them. I was just silent because I don't want Maya to yell and say, hey, daddy, daddy. <laughs> but then I had a good time. Bye, Bye I'm you later. All of you. Thank you, Ms. Best, Good luck, Maya. Thank okay. you. Thank Bye. you, everyone. Bye. 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 Hi, Miss Sarah. Did you call? You too.